The commissioner summoned me to his office to advise me that I had been selected as a police exchange student with Canada. Don't worry, sir. You can depend upon me to uphold the honor of the surete. Very good, Inspector. Have a good trip. At Mounted Police Headquarters, I received my first assignment from Commander Hotspur. Mm, now then, my good fellow, this is Two-Faced Harry. Mm, boy, is he a vicious one. You are to apprehend this culprit without further ado. Adieu. Mm, I said without further ado. No way with you. Go, 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 go. Being well experienced with the habits and owns of criminals, I selected one of the town's most disreputable dives to start my investigation. Excuse me, stranger, but have you ever heard the name Two-Faced Harry? It does kind of strike a familiar now. Know what I mean? No, exactly what do you mean? A familiar note. Yes. He knows something. Hey, wait a minute! You know, you've got a real honest face. I am deputizing you to help me catch Two-Faced Harry. Golly! That peachy king! I've never had the honor of deputizing before. You had better take this gun. Two-Faced Harry is a dangerous customer. Golly! Remember, shoot first, ask questions later. I have a question. Which is the safety? No, don't shoot until I give you the order. Now, when I yell fire, fire. Fire! 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 I only did what you told me to. Are you laughing behind my back? No, sir. I'm laughing behind my back. Aha! Aha to you! Oh, I'll kill him! Too far. Well, <laughs> two can play at this game. I think he's gaining on us. Abandon ship! Surrender in the name of the law! I dragged this elusive criminal into Manitoba, where winter had set in. Cartoonist, 
I order you to cooperate with the law and put this mangy car behind bars where he belongs. I want my lawyer! You can't do this to me! I want my rights! Do you hear? I refuse to talk! You see? The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> it's a relief to know that I'll never have to look at a two-faced freak like you again. You said it, buddy. Who said that? Where are you? Whoever you are? Mac Letrock, the most vicious criminal in the history of France, had been condemned to Devil's Island. I was assigned to deliver him to that stinking, rotten place. All right, get up there, you big lummox. Come on, look alive, move it. Well, mon capitaine, there's the island, eh? I must say, we've made excellent time, eh? Huh? Wait a minute. No, no, Inspector. That's not where you get off. That's... Don't you tell me where to get off, eh? I'll tell you where to get off, eh? <laughs> now, lower about. I'm getting off. I guess that's telling him off, eh? <laughs> Come on, you lazy monster. Put your back into it, eh? Stroke. 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 Stop! 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 We'll duck here. All right, you swine. Have you any last request before I leave you here to rot on Devil's Island? This ain't Devil's Island. It's Deserted Island. Oh no. Captain! Captain! Sacre bleu! And there won't be another boat for six months! In the meantime, big boy, you are still my prisoner. You make one false move, and I will shoot you dead on sight. Aha! Now you've done it! You have made a false move! Well, take this! Oh no! I forgot to load my gun! The only law now was the law of the jungle. It would be the brute strength of a gorilla versus the cunning mind of a hawk. And with a bird brain like mine, he didn't stand a chance. Come on out and fight, you crummy little punk! Shoulder. I tell you to come out and knock it off! Why, that big baboon, I'll show him. <laughs> How do you like that, eh? There, this ought to fool that big dummix. All right, you cowardly swine! Come out into the open and face me like a man! Why, you dirty little... Now I'll finish you off once and for all! What's the matter with this stupid rope? So long, copper! I'm gonna throw you off this cliff! Don't bother. Why, that dirty, no-good, sneaky cop. If I ever catch him, I'll... Huh? What's this? Hmm? 
Scared? I ain't scared of nothing! You hear that, Copper? Nothing! <laughs> it's only fair to warn you that this is going to hurt. It hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> there he is. When this rock hits him, it will be all over. Oh, no! Before you take me in, Inspector, there's something I'd like to get off my chest. Eh? What's that? You... The Commissioner of the Paris Sûreté suggested that I spend my summer vacation in Canada. This afforded me an opportunity to work with the mounted police and study the methods of Canadian prison systems. I was immediately assigned to guard a vicious criminal named Caribou Lou. Now, unbeknown to me, someone had smuggled to him an armored car inside of a cake. He wasted no time in breaking out. Naturally, he took me along as a hostage. We holed up in an isolated cabin, miles from anywhere. I detected at once that he was a person that I could easily hate. Now listen, you stupid copper. You're my ticket to freedom. So don't try to get away, understand? Yeah, yes, sir. We finally settled down for the night. I'm tying us together. So don't try no funny stuff. I lay there despising him until I was sure he was asleep. I told you not to try anything funny. Oh, how I loathe him. All right, go out there and get some firewood. Yeah, yes, sir. And remember, I'll be watching you. Oh, that dirty, that no good, contemptible sort of little. Well, my, my, my. I think I know somebody who's going to get a big surprise, eh? <laughs> oh, no! And don't try that again! Get the wood, do the dishes, make the beds. Who does he think he is? Come on! Sleeping powder, eh? <laughs> Here's the porridge. Wait a minute. You've got the biggest and I've got the littlest. I'll take this one and you take that one. Wait, it might be too hot. I wouldn't want you to burn your big mouth. Hmm. No, it feels cool enough. You can eat it. You can eat it! I'll take this one! Now keep away from me and my porridge! Well, that does it! Before you shoot, may I have your autograph? Say, are you phoning me? Oh, no, 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 sir. You are a very famous criminal. Can't you see someday your name up there in lights, eh? Where? And your picture splashed across the front pages everywhere. What uh, made it splash? You do have a good picture of yourself, eh? I ain't even got a bad one. You mean to tell me that your handsome features and chiseled profile have never been recorded on film? No, I reckon not. 
Well, you wait here and I'll go get a camera. You know, that Mountie is really a nice guy. I've decided I ain't gonna shoot him. I'll just stab him, quick like. Boy, boy, are we lucky. It was the last one they had. Now, this will be a time exposure, so you'll have to stand real still, eh? Okay, how is this? That's beautiful. Now, hold it. Stand here all day. Go ahead and shoot. Okay. Smile. I I I take twelve prints. Inspector, is it true that you captured the criminal single-handed? Yes, I must admit that. I must. I did it. Yes. Hold it, Inspector. Just one more. Well, what do you say to that, you varmint? Make up. Make up. I was hot on the trail of Louis La Swipe, the international jewel thief. I had pursued him all over the continent from one European capital to another. And at last in London, I finally closed in on him. Ha-ha! Now I've got him! Begging your pardon, Governor, but I believe the Captain would like a word with you. Later, at Scotland Yard, I established my identity as a French police officer. We'll be delighted to assist you in apprehending this jewel thief, Inspector. But I say, old boy, do put away that gun. We police don't use them here in England. It's against the law and all that, you know. Oh, look, there's Louis. Bring back those jewels, you blackguard! <laughs> That swine. Take this! No shooting, old boy. Do try to remember, won't you? Fortunately, my one shot had punctured Louis' diamond bag, <laughs> leaving a telltale trail of gems. No shooting, please. Halt! Halt, you scoundrel! Aha! Now I've got him. <laughs> it's no use, Louis. You're trapped like a rat. Now come out of there or I'll... <laughs> How can I capture him if I can't use my gun? Oh, I know. I'll use this gun silencer. There. Now I'll finish off that murderous fink once and for all. No shooting, please. That's odd. Very odd indeed. <coughs> no shooting. If you don't come out, I'll blast my way in. 
All right. You asked for it. I suggest you restrain yourself, sir. <laughs> now, if you will allow me, I'll look into the matter. I don't see anything. Are you sure he's in there? Let me have a look. Here. Does that answer your question? Precisely, sir. You in there! If you don't surrender peacefully by the count of three, we shall be forced to bash down the door. One, two... By Jove! It's time for tea! Will you come on? Uh, Righto. But remember, no shooting. One, two, three. Ready? <laughs> Terribly sorry, old fellow, but I'll just have to relieve you of your gun. Why, you sneaky... <laughs> Oh, there you are! Give it to him, Inspector! Bravo! Good show! Come back, you coward! Well, Inspector, I guess that wraps up the case. And I know you'll be happy to have your gun back. But remember, in England, no shooting. I understand perfectly, Captain. Oh, yes. You'd uh, better take these jewels. I suddenly felt a strong urge to travel. And the Captain, acting as my guide, escorted me back to Paris. By way of Rome, Geneva, Venice, While on an assignment to investigate an eccentric scientist who was making monsters without a license, I apparently lost my way. I'd better ask for directions at that old house. Hey, master! I think it's done. Hey, look, Master, I smashed the ugly old butterfly. It's me, you fool. You know I sometimes change into a bat. It's the role of the vampire. Yeah, it ain't my fault that I'm stupid. You never give me no brain. Let's face it, Erg. You are obsolete. Now come down here, and I will show you my greatest creation, a monster to end all monsters. <laughs> Isn't he a beauty? Uh, he's pretty all right. But how come he ain't got no brain? It is because the brain for this monster must be perfect. It must be witty and clever, also cunning, crafty, and courageous. Now, who do we know that's got a brain like that? Uh, how about him? Perfect! Go get him! Excuse me, but I seem to have lost my direction. Thanks, anyway, but I, I have three other directions to choose from. Sorry to disturb you. Don't let him get away! No, I'll get him, boss! <laughs> Be careful, Erg! Don't turn his brain! Stop hitting me, you numbskull! He got away! <laughs> there he goes! After him! Oh, heck, he went in that hole. I'll drive him out, and you clobber him. 
Master. Okay, Master. Here he comes. Hit him. Uh, I bet you're mad at me again. Now I'm going to make you small so you can go in that hole and get him. I say the magic word, Tinsy Winsy. Now you're small. Uh, but how do I get big again? Simple. All I say is Biggy Wiggy. And you're big. Gee, that's Tino. Do it again. Tinsy Winsy. You're small. Now go get him. Wait, please, before you hit me, I would like to say one last word. Biggy Wiggy. Now I gotcha. Teensy Wincy. Biggy Wiggy. Teensy Wincy. What happened, you fool? First he said, Biggie Wiggy. Yes, yes. Then he said, um, uh, uh. Kinsey Wincy. There is only one way to get him out of that hole. Go to the castle's powder room and bring back a keg of TNT. Uh, okay. TNT, TNT, I got the TNT. Gonna blow that wise guy up with a keg of TNT. Shh. Hurry, let's get him to the castle before it goes off. Look at that. You'd expect something more imaginative from a scientist. This is an insult to my intelligence. <laughs> it should go boom any second. Who'd ever have thought that Transylvania would be the first country to get to the moon? <laughs> <laughs>